This is the Gemini interferometer, the best way to measure the spectrum of the light. This is the working principle of the device. The temporal profile and the spectrum of the light are linked via Fourier transformation. Gemini creates two replicas of the light with finely tunable delay. Once again, the output spectrum is the Fourier transform of the output light. Therefore, the spectrum of two delayed replicas of the light is modulated with a frequency proportional to such a delay. The longer the delay, the denser the modulation pattern onto the output spectrum. Gemini provides very high light throughput. Because the output spectrum is non-filtered and there are no input or output slits, as it would happen with a monochromator. Furthermore, Gemini has no prisms nor gratings, thus providing extremely broad spectral coverage from the ultraviolets to the medium infrared region. The light intensity at the detector, as a function of the delay, is called interferogram. Its Fourier transformation provides the spectrum of the input light. In this animation, the Gemini is first set to zero, and then it slowly increases the delay between the two replicas, thus building the interferogram step by step. The measurement is performed until there are no appreciable residual oscillations in the interferogram. In this example, this corresponds to a maximum delay of 300 femtoseconds. At this point, the retrieved spectrum perfectly matches the input spectrum. When the spectrum of the input light contains narrow peaks, such as this one, the light field presents long-lasting oscillations, as you can see from the zoom in. To resolve these peaks with Gemini, it is sufficient to increase the maximum delay of the scan to increase the spectral resolution without any loss of throughput. In fact, at longer delays, the modulation pattern in the output spectrum becomes denser, thus providing those narrow features required to resolve sharp features in the spectrum. Much better than a monochromator. Gemini interferometer from Nereus.